hey, welcome back to another episode of The Bald and the Beautiful Woo! with Trixie Mattel and myself, today joined by the incomparable, inimitable, and in Iowan. <laughs> She's a famous drag queen. She's an Iowan. Is that Iowan? <laughs> what is the word there? Iowan? Residents of Iowa are called what? In Iowa, yes. Ewok. <laughs> I think we just say inbred. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say <laughs> fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fat Sasha fuck Bell, AKA, a.k.a. Frisbee Jenkins. Hi, guys. It's so exciting to see you. I can't believe it. I have to say, before we talk about drag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even you look so hot. <laughs> I know. You are just so beautiful. I just can't take it. I've got to get it on too. I don't want to be creepy or like, you know, whatever, whatever. But it's so funny. Like you are such my type. Like it's kind of unnerving because I never see drag queens or people who do drag, even dabble in drag that look even like remotely what I'm interested in, you know, humping up on. Now, this is one of those podcasts where we let you talk. Yeah. This is where we just talk about how we feel about you. Yeah. Wow, it's going great so far, I have to say. Yeah, you're just going to like breathlessly shriek a lot of um, inappropriate things at your face right now. People might know you from, um, where might they know you from? Um, well, they Gosh, might know me dude. from RuPaul's Drag Race, season mm. seven, the best season ever made. I, yeah. I think that's a general consensus. Everyone's always said that about our season. Mm -hmm, you know, haters can really go suck it because guess what we're all doing? Counting money, cashing checks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, at least I know that the residuals from season seven are so strong. That, oh. I mean, I don't even work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if we did get residuals. That would be really lovely. The only residuals we get are emotional <laughs> residuals. Tra trauma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so where are you? Where are you talking to us from right now? Um, I, Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> what do you say? The super are you spreader, in Puerto Vallarta? The super spreader tea, tea dance am, in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> um, I'm oh, at God. the bottom of the ocean in Puerto <laughs> Vallarta. I can't say that word. <laughs> Were you in that sinking ship, sis? <laughs> Have there you seen all the memes for no. that? No. You don't know about the no, party boat that I don't went know down? About the party boat. What? A party boat of gays went down in the ocean. Did they drown? They didn't. No one was harmed. They absolutely drowned. Uh, did you see that? <laughs> did you see that meme of Titanic where the um, Kate Winslet's mom is like, "Will the boats be sorted according to followers?" <laughs> <laughs> it's really fierce. Can I ask, as a hot white gay, wow. did you have an inclination to go to Puerto Vallarta? Um, I, I, I guess I missed my invite in the mail. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I would love to. No, like to. Speedo sponsorship got you out on like a Hawkin whatever on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you get the free underwear nowadays? Um, I actually just, um, I got um, Cell Block. They make like oh, harnesses yeah, sure. and stuff. I put up a couple pictures because I had bought some stuff from them and they, they sent me some free shit. So I love their stuff. I love once in a while when you get free things. I never get, actually like. I never ever get free stuff. You really don't? No. This is your call to action. Well, I don't open the mail, though. <laughs> Do you have to open the mail? <laughs> Actually, no, I get, I get free makeup stuff, but I would love to, like, it'd be nice to come home to a free pair of pants that fit well. Yeah. <laughs> or a new, come home to a home. Yeah. It'd be nice to come home to a home. <laughs> yeah. We're like, a, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, this show's called The Bald and the Beautiful. We are the bald. Guess what you are? The beautiful. Oh, yes. guys, thank you. Wow. So how old are you? How old am I? Yeah, Can you date us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you seeing anybody? Would you date me. Uh, any, uh. <laughs> um, I am thirty-four. That's a great age. A great, a great age. I could have, Single? you know, almost a, a kid out of high school if I would have been a straight man who had no sex shit. during high school. Seventeen-year-old. Yeah. Can you imagine having a You could have had a kid out of high school, but you would have had to go all the way to the elementary school, pick one out. <laughs> I, have you I had actually sex with did a woman? have sex with women in high school. Interesting. Talk about it. It didn't go well, though. But oh, one, you of, didn't, one of you the times performance was an attractor. Let me ask you this. So, like, I find that a lot of gay people who've dated women, um, they kind of leave that life with a... They have a misogynistic, like aftertaste in their mouth you know what i mean like and i've never really understood that like i get the fact that you don't want to have sex with a woman but it's not disgusting yeah how do you feel about it, feel about it? <laughs> um no it wasn't disgusting <laughs> it just was 
it was a lot of pressure, you know, and it, yeah. it was it was like the pressure of my family being like, Ugh. you know, why, why don't you have a girlfriend? You know, so yeah. it was I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. So, um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm definitely into men, but I, I would never say women are disgusting or anything. Yeah. I know a lot of people like in the Midwest, like from that kind of like a conservative family, their parents watch you have sex with the girl to make sure you're not gay. <laughs> I I thought you were serious for like half of that. You see my eyes? I was yeah. like, <gasps> it's an oh Iowa God. thing. It's an Iowa thing. They need that visual confirmation. One of my ex boyfriends, <laughs> he um he was going down on a girl in high school and he started crying. <laughs> he cried into her pussy. Oh. Which I'm sure felt fine. No way. Well, lubricant That's support. A, you know. <laughs> lubricant. Yeah, it was, it was serious. Wow. Well, now, the- when we talk about you being beautiful, I think we accidentally make it sound like you were this gut bucket yeah, pig no, no, from no, no, hell. No. This is not a Princess Diaries <laughs> thing or whatever. You no, know? it's not an extreme home makeover. It's not a she's all that. But I mean, you, you're. what would you describe? I would describe you as like a sexy, beefy daddy type. Is that not accurate? I'll take that. Yeah. I'll, okay. Yeah, absolutely. With a very full mustache. Now, as a as a professional porn person, can I ask if I watch POV porn about being molested by your father, am I reliving trauma or am I taking back the night? <laughs> I'll take my answer off the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my I, answer I, off the air. <laughs> Just hang up and never come back. Carla, where are the angels, Carla? <laughs> um. <laughs> So on, let's take it back before let's let's start on your journey. Yeah. Before we knew you on the drag race, you are from the legendary family of Bell. Tell us about the girls. Oh my god. Yes. So oh god. um my drag mother, Pretty Bell, she lives in Cedar Rapids here in Iowa. Pretty Bell. Pretty Bell. Pretty Bell. Pretty Bell. And she is wow. hilarious. She owns the bar in Cedar Rapids and um she's just wow. a big comedy queen. Um so I was her daughter and or I'm her daughter. And then I had 1 million daughters. Um, and we so, just kind of, is that like 1 million moms? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The is- <laughs> I'm the original team mom. So, <laughs> you know, wait, how did you have, how did you become a mother of so many? What's well, that process? Is there paperwork involved? There's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> um, no, like, what does that mean for real, though? Because we don't have drag families. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah. You guys don't? Do you approach a young gay in the club and go like, you want to come put on a wig? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't anymore <laughs> because, you know, everyone does drag. But the town I live in, Iowa City, it's uh, the University of Iowa. And so it's always kids cycling in and cycling out. So, and it, and that's really been hard, like getting really close to people and they graduate and move on. Um, but, so it's like you have all these children and then they all die. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> they move on. Um, no, I'm like, I'm like, that's what's her name in Pose where her kids left her house? That's me every year. Mm. So I, I, I lose kids, but then we have a new crop of, you know, yeah. freshmen that come and they, they start showing up at the club. And um, yeah, it, it's cool to see brand new kids watch drag, mm. some for the first time ever, you know, um, or they've been watching like Drag Race and now they can finally, they're old enough to go to a bar and see it. And it's just, you could see them in the audience and they're like, and you're like, oh, oh they that's going to be one right there. <laughs> so, I, Or they're like, you know, the mark of like a drag queen to be is the gay guy who's sitting watching yeah. the drag show, mouthing every word in like a pose. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Yeah. The ones who are a little bit too keen to get on stage and like you know, jump into a split or whatever. Yeah. And like while they tip you, they hold on a little long. And one of your rings is gone. You're like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever turn them gay on purpose or does, that just always happens? <laughs> On purpose, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That's it. Is it a college town where you are? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you do you, do you dabble? Do you stick your do you stick your do you stick your pen in the company ink? <laughs> the company ink. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't, but unless you work at the college, I don't think that makes sense. But do you get because your oh daddy God. status? Do you get the little twenty-year-olds like? Oh, oh, I know. I they must go nuts for that. Actually, um, I haven't. Um, I, oh. I, I feel like, I, I don't know. I think people see me as the drag queen who was on Drag Race. And so so a lot of the, the young gays who come to the club, they're more like, tell us about Drag Race. They're not like, 
oh hey da-, you know and i'm i'm usually if i'm at the bar i'm in drag so they're not like hey yeah. looking good <laughs> you know <laughs> do they even recognize you because like from following you for so long you don't you switch up your looks a lot yeah like you do different skin color, like yellow, pink, like different hair colors all the time. And your drag has changed a lot. Do they still clock you all the time? What do you mean by clock? Like, obviously five years ago, fresh off television, it was exactly you. But oh, got you. Your like, drag changes a lot. Me. Hasn't, it, hasn't it been longer than five years? I don't, it's been 84 years. <laughs> it's been, it's been 84 years. Um, no, yeah, it, it was definitely a lot more, you know, once we, right when we were off of it, but yeah. um, I don't know. It, it must be an Iowa thing. Like, you know, kids just must, I, I, they must spread the word that there was that one queen from Iowa who made it because <laughs> when they come to Iowa city, they know who I am. Um, My God. And, and, and they're like, can you tell me about drag race? Was RuPaul nice? <laughs> Oh my god! No, she was not. <laughs> what about how many other bells are there? Because my favorite one, of course, is Gina. Gina, <laughs> the Facebook troll of the century. Of he- she from really? hell! <laughs> from hell! I just love the idea, especially with drag names, because often they're so unremarkable. But I love the like. You just know that she has to correct everybody. Oh my who god! Sees it in print. It's like it's oh, Gina. It's Gina. <laughs> It's Gina. Oh my God. She is going to, she moved to Chicago. And that's right. She did. Yeah, Good for her. And she's going to be walking up and down the streets of Chicago, flipping that hair, knowing that she was yeah. mentioned on this podcast. And then, uh, Mai Ling is your daughter, right? Yep. Yeah. I keep track of all the girls. Wait, Mai Ling, um, uh, with the legs? Short Does legs. Does she have legs? That's a different Ling. <laughs> Never mind. Um, who, wait. No, I'm thinking of somebody else. She's the, <laughs> she's the show director. She does you're thinking thing. of Gabby Douglas. <laughs> yeah, thinking, you're thinking of Olympian Gab, Gabby yeah, Douglas. Did she go to the, <laughs> the London Olympics in 2012? Did your daughter do a floor routine at the Olympics? <laughs> oh my God. Um, you're still, you show director. I mean, you're like the mother of the legendary mother of the house of yeah. your region, big time. Um, my Ling took over as show director when I went on Drag Race and okay. I got back and she's like, you ready to start doing the schedule again? And I said, absolutely not. You go, girl. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know, you people get is, mad. Don't you think it's sort of like you want the power until you get it? And oh, you're like, no. remember just yeah. doing numbers? That was a little more fun. I don't even want oh the power. Oh my God. And people get so mad when you make the schedule. Like it is <laughs> personal with, if they don't get six make bookings a month, you know? Wow. Are, do you ever like um, get back at people, wield your power in like a, you know, a revengeful way or whatever? Uh, well, you're maybe. pretty like nice though. You're like a nice, caring matriarch, I bet. Yeah. I think the only time I really kind of reprimanded people is if they were late to shows. Oh, I hate that. I, we, neither of us like lateness. Yeah. We're never late. I'm not, yeah, I'm not late. Not really. Um, what is the, how many, how late has someone been the, the, the latest? That you've let them still work in the show. On a scale from Shangela to Valentina, <laughs> yeah. how late? Like, I'm talking getting minutes. Like, if the show started at 8. <laughs> um, Do you ever have someone walk in so late that you're like, well, you're not going on? Have you ever pulled that? I have told someone that they are not, um, we're skipping your first number. Because they yeah. were still, like, putting a wig on. And I'm like, I'm done. Because um, I, I was emceeing. And I'm like, I, I can't, you know, go on anymore. <laughs> I think that's fair. It's crazy. We used to have this, like, okay... So the show was at, uh, let's say the overture went on at eight o'clock and then the first number was like at eight, um, 20, say eight thirty. The one queen would show up at seven fifty nine. She'd really pull a she stunt. She would pull a stunt and she would say, I'll be ready for the show. Like I'll be ready. And she would go on like, you know, miss the first three bars of her song, but yeah, go yeah. out there and not looking good. There like, isn't not looking good. <laughs> not ready. You look like shit. You have like a shitty and that wig person, on. Roxy Andrews. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There is that personality type at a drag show that's like fully no bra on being like, start the track. Yeah. Go ahead. (laughs) It's almost like a personal, like, I'm going to prove to everyone here that I will be ready. They never prove it, though. They never prove it. They always miss, like, the first few lines of the song. I'm like, well, you didn't do it. I would have an anxiety attack. Like, I grew up with a million kids in my house. And because of that, we were late for everything. So that's what, oh, it kills me to be late. I don't understand this whole thing. Like you're a lip syncer. 
Mm-hmm. So you fail if you're not out there when there's music on. Well, the job is so barely a job to yeah. begin with. You have to be out there moving your mouth. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be like, it has to be when it's happening. Yeah. Not exactly. You know what I mean? You want that. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're not in the vicinity, <laughs> you've you completely failed. <laughs> Honestly, don't you think on a local level for the girls just starting out, Things like professionalism and punctuality is so much more important to me as a show director than actually what you're doing out there. Yeah, because as a show director, you're like, you're making sure the people who call in sick or get covered or whatever. What do you think? Well, I think uh, I I agree. And I also think like what you do with the audience, like after the show, because we make it a point if we're booking you, like you need to stick around for an hour or two and kind of socialize and make people want to come back again. You know. That is a big part yeah, of it. I hated that part. <laughs> Taking pictures with them. Yeah. Because there, there was one hot girl in the show and she would always get all the attention. And then we were the dogs. Or I was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the hot girl? Destiny. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Everyone's like, we want pictures with her. Yeah. And I'd be right there. You're doing a they split like, on a vending machine. <laughs> like, what about me? <laughs> but every, like literally people pushing me out of the way to get to her. <laughs> It's so humiliating. Fina cackling as you hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. She's the one pushing me. Um, so you did Drag Race. We all had a lovely season seven experience. None of us won, which was a great weight yeah, off the chest. Lovely guy. <laughs> great. A huge weight off the chest. Wow. I couldn't bear it. You know who I just talked to? Tempest Azure called me out of the blue the other day oh, and God. was talk- updating me on all her ducks, geese, and dolphins and all the shit she has. And like she had an emu that got eaten by a lobster or something. She is animal hoarders. <laughs> Tempest du jour is animal hoarders. What was it? She she was like, my emu died. Dog. I was like, what? And it was eaten by a rescue dog. Yeah, it was like <laughs> eaten by her rescue dog. You're lying. I'm dead serious. This is Dr. Doolittle. Going on. I know. Doctor <laughs> you and Tempest much. have had different trajectories in your careers. <laughs> yeah. She's She's homing displaced ducks. <laughs> and you're... Well, you're showing your hole on Twitter.com. Show- exactly. Yeah, can we get yeah. into it? I got to get into it. You after, just got to get into it. <laughs> after season seven, how long would you say before you started your sort of, I will say, a little bit under the radar at first. Tom Selleck slow. transformation? Yeah. You, when did you start your transformation? Um, well, I, you know, I, I didn't have the best trajectory on Drag Race. And mm. um, I kind of ate. Depends who you ask. <laughs> What's that? Depends who you ask. Well, I think you did wonderful. I it, it did not go well for me, and <laughs> we we toured, and I kind of didn't like how touring was going for me, and kind of how people acted at shows. Uh, um, yeah. And it was that hasn't improved, by the way. Yeah, that's just gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like even like right at the premieres, I had fun at the premieres, but I had to definitely take the audience's response and kind of put it to the side because yeah. I remember we were in Chicago and I'm a Midwest queen. So I was hurt by this and we were watching the premiere. And when I was safe and Tempest and Jasmine or Tempest and Candy were in the bottom and I was safe, like they booed. Oh they, my God. No, and you were in the room. No, and, no. Oh my God. And they knew I was there. They knew oh, I was there because they had already introduced so us. So they booed knowing I was in the building. And then we had to go out and perform afterwards and they just oh, no, 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 glared no, no. at me. Oh my god! Just evil. Like you just killed yeah. a kid. Like you killed somebody's kid right on TV. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god! If I could turn back time and get eliminated first, I would have done it because at least my picture would have been featured, you know, in this latest premiere. <laughs> I'm the poor chop loading doc, sis. <laughs> I'm just a poor chop loading doc, sir. I'm like, what? What did they want me to do? I should have been like, do not send Tempest home. I volunteer. Yeah. I messed yeah, up. My bra strap showed. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Every, everyone should win. Everyone should win, and I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love that. But then, uh, so I mean, like, I I wasn't really happy with, you know, my the response I was getting, and I was just eating everything in sight. And I I got big, which is not really. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with being big, but I didn't I like how I felt, and I decided mm. that I was just gonna start working my ass off and uh, I was the cardio queen running like three to seven miles a day doing kickboxing okay. and then still going to the gym after that. And are you serious? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. It showed. Yeah. I mean, I remember watching the, the, the progress, but I didn't know you did all that. Well, it seemed like you made it happen relatively quickly. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I, I was healthy about it, you know, like, I, w- I, I ate right, and I worked out, and I had a trainer, and, you know, I, but, but the thing is, I got really skinny, and I, I was healthy skinny, but I thought I looked sick. I thought I looked not well, and um, some people we look really you hot you know, that like- skinny, but not me. It wasn't right for me. <laughs> Do you know like numbers, like how much weight, like were, were you at your heaviest? If you're comfortable, of course. Because people don't know you're about six, what, six one? Yeah, you're a big Just girl. six. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. She's a great big fat person. <laughs> 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 so um, Frederica, did Stacey ever I, mention a weight that... <laughs> yeah, what was your I'm too skinny weight? And what you? was your I'm too large weight? And we don't have to include it. I'm just personally... Well, it's kind of funny because before, you know, like like... Until I was 25, I was like 160, 165, which... For six feet, that's skinny. That is... That's very extra- skinny. That's I've, very skinny. That's really skinny. But yeah. I ate like crazy. Like if my... Yeah. You know, in high school, if Time my mom made spaghetti, I'm eating four plates. It's just that was my metabolism. Four and then it finally spaghetti. slowed down like a couple years the before I got The rest of the family race. ate the spaghetti. <laughs> you ate the plates. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the plates. So what was the, what was the heaviest? Um... Right now is the heaviest. I'm like 255. That's great. Are you in like bulk mode right now, yeah. sis? Yeah. Because yeah. you have to, at your level, once you're like past a certain point of fitness, you have to do the phases, right? Of back and forth. Oh, yeah. Oh, you'll get shot in the street by. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't do the phases. You That's very LA. To. She's not chubby. She's bulking. <laughs> yeah. I've been bulking for about 16 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Waiting for the When bake. I lose it all, y'all can't take me. Yeah, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break. Oh my God. So you've heard us talking about hymns and how they're helping guys look their best. And if you haven't yet, it's time to see what they're all about. of men start losing their hair by age 35. I had it even worse. I was born bald. Once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be a little late. So have you noticed, is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards? Are Are you being wig snatched by a ghost? Are you fully bald? Are you flirting with half bald? Do you have some unaddressed areas that you can only see with a hand mirror peeking out in the back of your head like Professor Quirrell and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Well, the best way to prevent more hair loss is to do something while you have some. It's a lot like dental care in that way, okay? Why do guys turn to weird solutions or nothing when you can turn to science and medicine, okay? The solution is 4 a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have hair. Now, I love being bald. This is The Bald and the Beautiful. This is a safe space. But like anything with your body, you want to you want to love what you see in the mirror. And so if you just love having your hair and you want to hold on to it longer, let's talk about it. This isn't like some empty promises, snake oil pills. This is like real prescription solutions backed by science. And the best part is when I say prescription, you don't have to see a doctor in person. You don't have to go through that awkward in-doctor visit being like, hi, I have an appointment for bald. Can you check me in for bald? For Hims connects you to a licensed medical professional online, which saves hours. I mean, I don't even drive, so I love being able to see a doctor remotely. It's everything. And it's also confidential and discreet. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, my listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. So go to forhims.com slash bald. That's forhims.com slash bald. Just saying, prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Uh. Remember, that's 4 slash bald. Usual wines are wines for the modern drinker. Each bottle is only 6.3 ounces. It's a heavy pour with about a glass and a half of wine. No more wasting the wine. I just, I'm trying to be more reasonable about my wine intake. And when I had the usual wines in my fridge, they are so cute. They fit in my perfect little fridge. And it's just like one glass of wine and a little extra, which is like perfect for me. Um, It still feels like a single serve. The wine is always fresh, never stale. The wine is low carb and has zero grams of sugar, which I'm obsessed with. 
Usual has a red blend, a rosé, and a sparkly white called Brute. And there's also Usual Spritz, which is low alcohol, about 8.5 ABV, very low calorie wine spritzer that's made of sparkling wine and guava juice. So think like White Claw, but for adult sexy people. Each serving has only 83 calories. That is stunning. Go check out the website at www.usualwines.com and use my discount code BEAUTIFUL for $8 off your first order and try your first glass on us. And we're back. Hey. Because I have to say, it was just your body. When your first kind of like reveals pictures came out, it was your fucking body is amazing. And I got to say, wow. I've been, I've been uh, looking at your Twitter.com profile. We did our research. And Mary, like, I was like, oh, Oh shit. Wow. Okay. Like <laughs> you really, I was like, uh huh. Uh huh. The things you can't work you know, out yeah. also are great. The yeah. things you can't grow you through exercise. Great ass. Thank yeah. you. Great wow. ass. <laughs> are you okay with us talking explicitly about your beautiful body? Yeah, you oh, don't. And also, I prefer it. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, you're a wonderful drag queen, and I'm just happy that. Yeah, blah, 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 drag, whatever. <laughs> it's fun. When we talk about beauty, we talk about like. You should be happy with the body you have. If it's like super thin, super chubby, somewhere in the middle, you should still love it. So like, when did you start to reach your like, I'm sickening body yeah. status? And did you reach that? Cause I don't, you know, don't I, let her put her words into your mouth. <laughs> I think, I think it was, um, I think it was like when I started OnlyFans, like I was proud of myself when I had lost all that weight and was super fit. And then I was proud of myself when I put on all that muscle but I still was like, well, I could do this, I could do that, you know, I, I could do this much more. And that's still in the back of my head, but when I started my OnlyFans, you know, at first I was panicked and I'm like, oh God, this is gonna be terrible. And, but then it, everybody was so nice and great about it and horny. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then it, it was like, oh my God, yeah, I'm okay. Like, like okay, like, what you know like yes i'm going to continue to work out and see how how much buffer i can get but i'm proud of myself and the cool thing i mean the cool thing about when i started the only fans is that i no longer gave a shit and i've never had that feeling in my life and i like my give a damn is broken like mm. i do, i don't give a damn anymore and I, I wish I had that mentality like when I was on Drag Race because I walk in yeah. and said my lines and people were like, oh, oh, okay. And then I immediately was like, what? What's wrong? What's wrong? Or like if I do a, if I do a show and one person in the audience is looking at me weird, I'd be like, what's going on? Is my hair falling off? <laughs> do they not like this number? Like what's, and, and I didn't realize I was doing it. I always just thought, I don't get nervous. I don't get nervous, mm -hmm. you know, and it wasn't like insane nerves, but I didn't realize I did that until this. And now I go out and do a show now and I'm like, who cares? Like, mm -hmm. they've all seen me naked, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> like if, you're t if your tuck pops, you're like, they've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll tip more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take you to sort of develop that attitude when I'm um, from the start of your OnlyFans? Like, was it immediate or... And was it from the support of like the fault love, your fans, whatever? It was probably, yeah, it was probably like two days. Oh my God. Like it was, so it cool. was just so insane when I kicked it off that I was like, I, I was expecting like 10 followers, you know? So when, when I, I quit because of her, you quit what? I quit OnlyFans because of her. Because she I had to she shut it down. I had to. I was like, I can't compete with Sasha. I'm just shutting mine down. I have to say, drag queens <laughs> are never seen as attractive to anyone. No. And that's why I like it. It's sort of like, yeah. you're the only person who is extremely hot and doing drag that I'm rooting for. You're the only fuckable hero <laughs> like, in drag. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Because it's almost wow. like you're a veteran drag queen. And yeah. it's interesting that this new venture has made you like a better drag queen. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. It's I'm thank you. I mean, thank you for that. Um, but but yeah, I, I I mean, maybe I sound vain when I say this, but I, I agree. Like, I feel like I'm more free and creative now in my drag mm -hmm. that I don't give a fuck anymore. You know? Yeah. And when you say like, don't give a fuck, it's really just like you don't have hang ups or you don't. I have, think she means that. 
Oh, that's it. I'm obsessed with this picture. <laughs> Bimini Bumblebee. <laughs> if you guys, you guys all need to go to Sasha Bell's. It's Sasha Bell with a Y. Her Instagram because the way you incorporate your mustache into your drag <laughs> looks <laughs> is so brazen. Because your mustache is so big. It's big and so dark. It's Tom Selleck from Magnum <laughs> PI. It is literally Tom Selleck. <laughs> you got to do that as a little cosplay come Halloween time on the OnlyFans. Oh Those my shorty God. shorts. Just your I ass will. eating them up. I'll lip sync to Tom Selleck. There you go. <laughs> Can I ask? Um, I don't think people normally at a at a bar, let's say, see drag queens as sexual in any way. When you became like this, the body type you are now, did you notice the boys were different to you? Mm. When I'm in drag? No, like out of drag. Yeah. Like, oh. were you suddenly like, am I sexual yeah. to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Does, do you... <laughs> is everyone just restraining themselves from trying to fuck me at all times? Do you have a, a tricksy level of delusion about your sex appeal? In in that you can't. You're like, wow, people are really doing a great job of not coming <laughs> because when I, I enter the room. room. Yeah. <laughs> I just mean like, okay, people are fans of you from drag. Great. Yeah. How did your DMs change? Let's yeah. say yeah. in the past couple of years. So yeah, yeah. online, it's changed, but in person, I don't. I don't. Feel, that's what I was saying earlier. I, I, or if if people are different in person, I'm oblivious to it. I, I, I don't mm. catch up on. Or I, I, I don't. <laughs> you don't see all them people jerking off. <laughs> well, she's a Midwesterner. I bet all your mid. Yeah, so as a Midwesterner, I'm sure all your girlfriends, the drag queens, are like, "You're always going to be a disgusting cunt yes. to me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, I'm not one of your school friends. Yeah, Katya, yeah. I walk fast too, so maybe I walk through the room too fast to, you know, to catch them yeah. jerking off. But um, <laughs> my. The the DMs, I mean it. That's been that's been crazy, and they're so funny too. Like, because what are some? They, like they what? will like a lot of them will comment on how hot I am, but then how much they hate frisbee. So so they'd be like, "You're kidding! You're kidding!" But they'd be like, "Wow, you are so hot, but why the mustache and drag?" <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I noticed that on like you know your you say very clearly and with a, you know capital letters. This is uh, not a drag account or whatever. You know what I mean? You separate them and make that clear distinction because people seem to be looking for one or the other and not both. I really like your drag. I don't Thank mean to say it like, I liked it. Because one time someone's mom came up to me after a show and I had really bombed that night and she went, I liked it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like you look different in drag a lot. You do all different co Thank hair you. colors, like looks all yeah, the time. Yeah, get an eclectic look. Thank you. I mean, yeah, before it was like th the big thing about Iowa City before Drag Race, um, uh, like BR before RuPaul was like it was just pageant. It was pageant, pageant, pageant. And everybody did pageant. And I started Trixie, you know, this. I started as Frisbee Jenkins. That was my first name. And I was like, so I'm good. a comedy so queen. And then all the drag queens there were like, Myrna, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so funny. And they were like, Myrna, listen, if you want to be taken seriously in the art of female impersonation, then you need to do pageants and you need to have a more sensible name. And so I changed my All name right. to Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Sasha and Bell I, is a it's a very sexy yeah. kind of fun drag. Sounds game. like a porn star. Yeah. Sounds like a porn Yeah, but yeah. I mean like I had fun as Sasha and you know, I like that kind of drag too where it's just like very like Gina Bell drag, you know, big hair and you know, flipping your hair dance and well she don't dance, but you know, like that kind of <laughs> drag. I love watching it, but it was very like it was, I was anxiety ridden doing that drag, right. you know, and I was on the show as well. And I think if I would have walked in with the goddamn mustache on my face and, mm. you know, was Frisbee, I think I would have had more fun and not, yeah. you know, second guess myself and everything, you know. Would you do it again as Frisbee? Absolutely. I would Absolutely. love that. Would be great. Do you remember when you came out as hot, which is really brave, by the way, <laughs> and everybody was like, you should do pit stop. Would you do pit stop? Nope. Pit crew. Sorry. <laughs> would you do pit crew? I'm not that, offering you my job. That would be so fierce. Pit crew. Yeah, would that you would do pit crew? So the first queen fierce. to do pit crew? Um, yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, it seems, it seems like a fun gig. Yeah. Yeah. 
they do enjoy it. I think it's a fun little part-time gig. And I've done some prides with like Jason and Bryce and they're so funny because they'll do like meet and greets and like, yeah. I would, I would have them switch the costume though. Um, shoes, but no, uh, speedos. <laughs> I would, are they barefoot? They're fucking barefoot. It stresses so me out. Holes in there. Stresses me out. Yeah, like so just pins, the, pins on the ground for just the price of a <laughs> cup of coffee a day. You could put shoes on the feet of the pit crew. They don't have them, you know, the coming to America sweepers like going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they need to sweep the the path so that those oh little poor men don't God, get a little, in the arms yeah. of the angels. Uh, yeah. no, How did I, you think of? I think okay. I would struggle with it because those studios are so cold. Oh, I remember freezing. when we were doing our promo look, I was in that latex, which makes you sweat normally. And I was yeah. holding that tray of cupcakes and I was like, <laughs> and yeah. they're all yes. productions all in their winter coats and stuff. And I'm like, can we turn the goddamn show. heat on, please? Hollywood Center Studios. Love it. Yeah. A, a crisp 32 degrees always. Ugh. Always. Yeah. I Ugh. live just a few blocks from that studio. And whenever I like jog by it, it's always so surreal yeah. to be like, that is where we shop. Seven, and you mentioned the promo day that we did the promo uh, the promo for season seven. You know that did not uh, age well. I would say. Can we be vulnerable on this day if you Fucking. want to talk beauty, the bald and the beautiful? <laughs> T- to follow season six, which was glitter cannons, and RuPaul turns into a panther. Yeah. And like, what did we get? Vignette. They had like personalized vignettes, sometimes multiple vignettes. Somebody lied to her <laughs> several times. Several times. So somebody she- lied. I remember walking out and seeing just that white, that white screen or backdrop or whatever. And I was like, so you guys like going to like yeah, do yeah. something? Like, like our, when, the, when are we building the set? Basically, I, I would let season seven know that she's, she's a, a fat, fat cunt. cunt. <laughs> yeah. I can't, it, it was very, you walk out to a white wall and you're like, oh, they're going to pop off and post. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. This oh, is this, Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. No, Mary. Nothing and then of they the said, sort. we want you to walk in several times. <laughs> That's all that happened. They fed you a corny line and then they said, yeah, we're going to we're going to shoot you flat white. You guys were the morning group, too. I remember. Oh, my God. That was like the ADM call. Time. Remember? Oh, yeah. But I love that. There was a fun day. We all look like shit. Yeah. That's Hammered why shit. Pearl, one of the most beautiful drag queens ever, did not have a good showing that day. No, but it didn't <laughs> shave her beard. Didn't <laughs> shave her no, beard. No, Talk no, about bravery. No. <laughs> Talk about bravery. That bitch looked toe up. And we only say that because she literally gorgeous. transcends. So gorgeous, yeah. In and out of drag. Her nowadays, we got to get her on the pod. She's too busy in the woods, Mary. Girl, in the woods. In the w- <laughs> She's the in the conjuring. Wood. She's the conjuring. She's the conjuring three. I love yeah. to keep up with the girls. How did you think of Frisbee Jenkins? Um, f- uh, uh, Reno 911, there was a character Please named Frisbee. Playing Frisbee one day. And I, I liked it. And J- I, I don't remember where I got Jenkins, but <laughs> you know that's an inspiring tale. I'm glad you put so much thought behind it and really, really created that. <laughs> that's like I love Trinity Taylor. I asked her why she's named Trinity, and she said, "Cause I started drag around the time the Matrix came out." And I was like, "Okay, don't tell anybody that, please. Please don't tell anybody that." <laughs> Can you believe? <laughs> oh. There's like this iconic, beautiful, beautiful pageant queen in Milwaukee, and her name is Betty Boop. And I always was like, "You really just, you really just picked that, that name. name, yeah." What's your drag name? Uh, Sharon Dusty Stone. Springfield. <laughs> yes, you know <laughs> what's your drag name? Michelle Obama. Can't ever Google her. Can't Google her. Can't find her. She's a treat if you see her. Unfindable. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, so you get to make all your own content. You've never had to do porn with the studios. Yeah, I want to I want to mm. ask you about this. Like do you ever feel um like a plastic bag? <laughs> <laughs> like a plastic bag. <laughs> do you remember that was her number? Sailing through the wind. <laughs> over and over yeah, in a oh plastic my God. bag. Plastic so bag. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm just in so denim funny. overalls next to Miss Fame who's, <sighs> you know, in couture yes. at the premiere That's all she was doing. on the top oh, of yeah. the Oh yeah. Didn't she do like, didn't you do like a Minions look? Yeah. You were like denim overalls, like a yellow shirt. Yeah. Glamour. Glamour. Yeah. Glamour. Iowan glamour. <laughs> that's the pageant Iowa. That's the Iowa pageant yeah. system. <laughs> denim overall six. That's a category. Uh, that's the pretty bell. Denim mystique. <laughs> the pretty bell mystique. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Wait, wait, I want to ask you. So what have you, um, what are you like? 
I'm trying to think of like a sensitive, not dipshitty way to ask this. Like, what are your limits on on posting an OnlyFans? Or are there like things that you would not? Um, how do how do I say this? Like, what are you most um, <laughs> like what's your boundaries? Yeah, yeah. Like what are your I boundaries know. with only? Yeah, like how do you approach that? Is it kind of like whatever you feel like doing and you just do it? Um yeah, I mean there's a lot of things I see on Twitter where I'm like, you know, you know you're like, "Ooh, who's this Twitter account?" And then you go yeah. there and then you see someone like getting fisted. That <laughs> hurts my heart to see someone get fisted. So that's okay. that's a no for me. Okay. I'm sorry. But it's a no to for anybody me, dog. who yeah. likes getting fisted, that is great. But it makes, you know, my, my heart hurt. I, I, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know who? I was asking Angina about fisting once on the cruise. Oh. And she was like, I've done it. And I was like, do they like it? She said, yeah, because my arm's so little, I can just, uh, uh, uh. That's what she said. <laughs> I believe that's what she does. That's the sensitivity that she, like, brings to the. You know, but if you want to start fisting, Angina is a great place She's to a start. Great training wheel. Training wheel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> This this grown man, you could kill someone. Yeah, it's so funny that you mentioned that because like half of my friends are like they take the whole thing up their ass. Ooh, yeah, I mean, good for good for them. You know yeah. that that's awesome. Yeah, I I I can't watch it though. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's it's it looks so it's painful. asking it's a lot. It's, it's asking it's, a lot. Yeah, it's extreme. And if it wasn't extreme, people wouldn't be as into it. So I think it's okay to admit that it's purposefully yeah. a little shocking. And a lot of that that like pleasure is about limits, pushing limits, and whatever. Yeah. I don't get it personally. Um, sounding, no. <gasps> oh, I, no, I see. I can't even talk about that. It's like, it. I I, I will unfollow someone because I, I can't see that. I'm like, it, 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 well, you're, it, you're giving yourself a catheter. Why? Well, but I mean, kudos to the people thing. that love it. You know, that's. Then, he, I mean, I have to say in the defense of those people, I didn't like grow up jerking off to anal sex. That True. didn't sound like something that would feel good either. True mm. or yes, or yeah, yeah, eating, yeah. eating. I ass. just have the visceral uh, response to it. Eating ass was disgusting to me when I would like first came out, you know. And now it's really? like, if that's not that's in a porno I'm watching, I'm like, why bother? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to see one it. Star review. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, so I mean, maybe someday I'll be sounding and fisting. I don't. I don't. I, <laughs> Maybe someday the I'll sound be of sound music and with frisbee. <laughs> the sound of music with frisbee Jenkins. <laughs> Holy and shit! And the music's just your fucking huge blown out cow pussy ass. Just like <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a break. <laughs> okay. Care of. Let's talk about it. It's a wellness brand that makes it easy to maintain your health goals with customized vitamin plan that helps you feel your best day to day and supports you long term. I'm going to tell you what I love about this place. Okay, all the Care of products are formulated with good for you clean ingredients backed by science. You do a little online quiz, you talk about your diet, your lifestyle, health concerns, basically anything you want to address in your goals. And it's a very like holistic online quiz. It's more about your lifestyle, honestly, which made it very easy for me to understand. You get a personally tailored approach to your unique needs, okay? For me, it was a little more like I wanted my skin to look good. Um, you know, like general wellness, like men's health. That was kind of my vibe. Um, but you can plug in lots of different types of things. Fitness goals, sleep goals, energy goals. Um, Kati and I are obsessed with it. We love it. And what I love about it too is it makes it so easy, you guys. When I retreated from LA to the desert for Thanksgiving and Christmas, my little care of vitamins were in their own little baggies. They come in these little baggies with my name on them. It says Trixie and it makes packing extremely easy. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna be gone seven days. I'm gonna grab seven of these packs. That's it, that was the whole planning. I mean, come on. And you know, I care about fitness, I care about my health, but when it's being made easy, that's when I actually succeeded it. You basically have to make it idiot proof for me to do it. And care of really does that for 50% off your first care of order. Go to takecareof.com and enter code bald 50 for 50% off your first care of order. Go to takecareof.com and use the code bald 50. And we're back with the incredible <sighs> Frisbee Jenkins. What's your boy name? Oh yeah. I have no idea. Mine, Jared. 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 Oh, I did know that. It can only be Jared. I was afraid you were gonna be another Brian. <laughs> oh God. I wish. Because we're both Brian. 
You could be Brian with a Y. How do you spell Jared? J A R E D the right way. Okay. And then what, what was just the last four of your social? <laughs> 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 What are your hopes and dreams in the year? What do you want to do with your drag and adult film career? Oh, wow. Okay, so... Um, you fucking that's drag? A, that's, a, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, well, I just bought a house. I got a lot more space now. Oh, cool. So. For fucking and drag. <laughs> you put on that wig and you fuck the man. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, I got more room now, so I want to <laughs> set up like a um, like a studio and get oh, my nice. YouTube um, going again. We haven't made anything in a while. We want to make another um, real drag wives of Iowa City. You guys oh, should check yeah. it out on YouTube. I, I, I had the, so much fun doing their um, the drunk makeover with you guys like yeah. so many years ago. Oh, those were so fun. The so ginger fun. one, she yeah. was so trashed. Busted. Trashed. Oh, yeah. she threw up. She threw up in the trash can. Yeah, that's in like the middle the, of probably it. the least disgusting thing she did. That. <laughs> that do you remember day. her face? Do you remember when you go, "We're gonna do white on the bottom"? Like it's gonna be like Trixie Mattel, and she looked right at the camera, and her eyes were really wide. <laughs> and then she threw up. Love it. Those drunk ones were so fun. You still get great. into the drinking? You still do the binge drinking on a regular basis? Sure. Yeah. I yeah, love that Iowa. about you. Yeah, keep it. Oh, I had so much fun. Remember, uh, I, I came to do Iowa. Is it called the Garden? The club? I don't know. What? Um, oh, you, studio, uh, studio. 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 Studio 13, the, the, yeah. Yes. Me and Kim came once. Remember at Pride's mm-hmm. a few years ago? And there was that incredible share. Uh, her name is Cass something. No. Anyway. Oh, um, Candy. Candy. Yes, this is Candy. candy. That was Candy such Stratton, yeah. a fun gig. You guys have a good energy down there. Great energy. Yeah, I, thank you. I mean, like, yeah, that's why when I kind of got sick of touring or, you know, after Drag Race, I was like, I just kind of want to be home with my girls, you know, because yeah. they're awesome, you know. And, and it's like, I, you guys were talking about with Violet on your last podcast about touring by yourself. Mm. It is it was hard for me like to be in an airport all day long and then they take you to your hotel and you get ready there by yourself. Like every place I went, I was like, can I get ready at the bar? Do the girls get ready at the bar? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, and then they think you're weird or something or I don't know. It's like, it's strange. Yeah. It's, it's a little, it's a different thing. Having your camaraderie of like seeing the same girls, it makes you like, I don't know. I used to get more excited to get ready than to actually do the show. Well, yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. because like you're not, I, it, it, what, drag was never like a high paying like um, thing. No. So it was always about the experience, the fun of it. If it like, you know, when it's not fun, it's really like kind of bizarre. Yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's also weird to get, jump out there and get on a mic when you've been by yourself for 10 hours, you know? Yes. So yes. It's, it's like when you're shooting the shit with, you know, all the entertainers backstage yeah. and, you know, it, it, it keeps your wit up, you know? It keeps you on your toes. I like it. Yeah. Andy, I, I always remember the bar more and, like, remember the city more. And I like to leave the bar and feeling like I know a couple of the people there. Yeah, with some cherished memories to take Shut home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, Jared, Sasha, Frisbee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank Jared, you so much for joining us. That's the name on her birth certificate. <laughs> Jared, Sasha, Jared, Frisbee. Sasha, Frisbee. <laughs> Please let everybody know where they can find your drag or a, a oh, yeah. healthy helping of yeah. nudity. Dick balls and ass. Dick balls and ass. Where can they see them? Dick, Dick balls and ass. Yeah. Oh, you saw that post, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sure did. Um, Which one? You yeah. can find you can find me on Instagram at Sasha Belly. It's just Sasha Bell with a Y at the end. I would change it to Frisbee, but they won't let me <gasps> on Insta. Um, and Thanks Twitter. So <laughs> Oh God! What's the Twitter name? XXL um, Sasha. X-X-L Jesus Christ, Sasha! I got it bookmarked. <laughs> H- have, you, have you ever had sex and drag? No. Would ma'am. you be open to it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like she loves the it. That says it all. <laughs> the long pause sounds- and then the smacking of the lips and then going well. well <laughs> Like I'm asking you to put a gun up your ass. Rarely is that going to be followed by, yes, absolutely, I would. Well, you know, Myrna, I haven't tried that yet. You know, I don't know. It would be, I mean, that just sounds like a lot of work. It's already so much work getting up and drag. And then to have sex on top of it, that sounds like 
Like, I need a vacation after. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, what if he's fucking you and he's like, oh, Frisbee? You know, <laughs> does it take you out of it? Oh, Frisbee. <laughs> you know? Come in, Frisbee. I like, you know, sometimes the drag girls would like change their, their like, uh, you know, hooking up name, but to something very similar to their stage name. What if no. you did Frisbee? Frisbee, ch- frisky, fris- no, frisky, frisky Jansen. Frisky, frisky oh, Jansen. Frisky, frisky, frisky Jenkins. <laughs> that's a, it's just Kati, a suggestion. what do they call you? What's the name that's close to Katie? Katie. 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 <laughs> Katie girl. Katie's Not Katie Katie Couric over here. Katie Bonaducci. Oh and I would be <laughs> Tr- Trixie uh, Mattel. Tracy. Tracy. Yeah, Tracy Martel. Tracy. Yeah, Tracy Martel. Easy. Yeah. Toby Maguire. <laughs> yeah. My poor name will be Toby Maguire when I switch to OnlyFans. <laughs> When I do scenes, <laughs> I don't think I don't think only you know because people will be like, I want I'm gonna Google Toby Maguire nude, and then they'll get oh, me. It's just you. And, and after they got their card information, <laughs> guess what? Bald faggy yeah, fuck can't cancel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh my God, how about um? Katia. So you please do the Magnum PI cosplay. That would be great. I will. I will. Okay. Hey, I tagged you in a post today. Someone made um sleeves for your feet, and there oh, were did there were toes that? on it. What now? It, it, it looked like oh, it looked sheer, like something you'd like. Yeah, the sheer illusion With the toenails. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on I'm, all the latest feet in arm technology. I'm abreast. Have you guys ever seen the nude, the drag queen nude bodysuits that have the airbrush toes? Yeah, and also panty toes. Yeah, yeah. One time I was at a gig in Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, this queen Amalie Yuleta was her name. And she was wearing one of those suits to do like a nude illusion and no shoes on. And before she goes on stage, they go, you want to put some shoes on? And she goes, oh, girl, I don't need shoes for this. And you hear Kim from the back 40 go, no shoes. <laughs> like Kim was so scandalized that a drag queen would go on the stage with no shoes. Well, it's also, it's disgusting. Well, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I just love you. I'm so happy you could come on. Yeah. Congratulations to all of your journey. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, I, I I appreciate you guys having me. It's good yeah. to see you. Yeah, and I, along with many fans, will um, continue to uh, look forward to seeing pictures of your cock, balls, and ass, and dick. Dick, balls, ass, titty, and hole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sasha. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.